Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I filmed for you a client tutorial. Um, I've done one of my most requested looks, which is a full glam cut crease with gold on the lid. Um, I get requests for this look quite a bit, so I thought I'd show you guys how I create it. If you'd like to see how I did this, then please keep on watching. So to start off this look, I'm gonna prime the skin with the MAC Strobe Cream in pink light. This is just a really nice hydrating primer and will add a nice glow to her skin. And I'm just going to be blending this out with a paddle brush. Next for brows I'm taking the shade Soft Brown from the ABH Brow Palette and just starting from the ends and filling out her brow. She already has pretty nice full brow so I didn't need to do too much and this palette's really handy with all the shades it has in it. I also prefer to use brow powders just as they're more buildable and not as harsh as going straight in with a brow pomade, which is quite pigmented and creamy. So if you're scared of filling in brows, I definitely recommend using a powder first. So next I'm going to be taking the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Custard to carve out her brows. And I like using this concealer because it's nice and thick and really full coverage. It's going to create that really nice sharp eyebrow and I feel like it's easier to use a thicker concealer than a liquidy one when you're working around the eyebrows. And to carve them out, I just like to use any flat concealer brush. Next, so I'm going with the eyes. So I'm just going to prime with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 just to create a nice flawless base for the eyeshadows. And for this, I just use any small concealer buffer brush. Once the eyes are primed, I like to go with the Laura Mercier translucent powder just to set that all down. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be starting out with the ABH Mono Renaissance palette. And I'm going to take the shade Burnt Orange as my transition. And I'm just going to run this through the outer corner and the crease and build it up until it's at the intensity I want it. To make sure the eyeshadow is really blended, I like to use little circular blending motions and back and forth motions. For the crease colour, I'm going to go in with this shade, which is called Caramel from Ansa Single Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow. And I'm going to pack this onto the outer corner first and then also drag that through the crease. Next, I'm going to be taking the two lighter shades from the P. Louise Eyeshadow Palette and just placing that underneath her brow just to make sure um, we haven't gone too far up and it's looking nice and blended. And I'm going in with my big fluffy brush just to blend the two together so there's no harsh lines. Next I'm going to be taking the shade Riga, I'm not sure how to say it, from the Modern Renaissance and packing that again in the outer corner and also blending it through the crease just to deepen it and to add some more warmth to the eye look. After I've got that shade up to the intensity I want, I'm going to go in with the gold shimmery shade from the same palette and use that to highlight her brow bone. I'm going to be taking the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk and that shade there is called Oud, I'm pretty sure. It's just a really nice dark chocolatey brown. I use this for every single look pretty much. That's why it's hit pan. And yeah, I'm just using this and mainly focusing on it on the outer corner to build it up and running a little bit what's left on the brush through the crease as well just to add some more depth. And we want to keep this below all the other shades so you can still see the gradient of light to dark. And we're just going to be doing the same thing to the other eye as well, just mainly focusing the darker shade in the outer corner and also blending it through the crease. And sorry about my camera, it kept going out of focus, which is really annoying, but we're buying a new lens soon, so hopefully that will stop happening. So after we put the darker shade down, I'm going to go back in with my blending brush from the first few shades, just to make sure everything is nice and blended. And then after this, I'm going to be taking the black from the ABH Soft Glam Palette and this I'm only going to be focusing in the outer corner. So just patting it on first and then really, really small swiping motions to blend it out. Also, make sure with black shadow you're slowly building it up and not going in with a whole heap of black at once because it's just not going to blend out and it will ruin the whole look. 
after I've placed the black and built it up as I want, I'm going between two brushes. So one, a clean blending brush just to make sure the make sure the black is blended out and then just a smaller brush to pack it on. So after we've got all our shadows down, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Glitter Glue and this Artiste um, concealer brush and I'm just going to cut out the crease. And using glitter glue is really handy because it makes sure that the pigment only sticks to where you want it and it won't go um, anywhere else. So after we have the crease cut, we're going to go in with the Ingla and JLo pigment in Blazing Rose, which is my favourite shade. It's just such a nice bronzy colour. I'm just going to be packing that on the lid. Um, just take a small amount and just do little patting motions, not swiping, because then it will mix with the glitter glue and make it all chunky. So after we've got the pigment all packed on, I'm going to go in with a small blending brush and um, the dark brown and just start blending the edge of the pigment and the shadow because you don't want a harsh line between the two. So to blend it, don't be afraid to blend quite harsh. Like it's not going to blend out if you're doing really soft motion. So do quite um, intense blending I don't know what else to call it but yeah make sure you're not being um like still be careful but you don't need to be too um careful around this part because once it blends out it looks really nice and seamless once you've gone in with the dark brown then we're going to go back in with the black because it's been covered by the other shadows now and we're just going to do the same thing so packing it on the outer corner and blending it um, really well into the brown and the pigment so it's nice and seamless. Once it's all blended and the shadow's done we're going to go with the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and I'm just going to take the Ingla 31T brush and just do a line, like a thin line across her lid. I'm not doing a wing or anything, but this will just help blend in the lashes so there's no gap between the falsies and the eyeshadow. The Maybelline Gel Liner is a really good dupe as well for the Inglot 77. And next we're going to go in with the Garnier Micellar Water and a little cotton pad and just remove all that fallout. And see how there's so much fallout, that's why I prefer doing eyes first, just to make sure all that black doesn't ruin our base. And because we've already primed now, we can go straight into foundation. So I'm going to take the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Stromboli with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I'm going to put this all over her face. And we're using, I, will, I like to use a brush to apply it with first because you get the most coverage. And then after it, I'll go in with the sponge, which you'll see. So now that the foundation's on, I'm just going in with this Model Rock Beauty Sponge to go over the foundation. I like to do this so it absorbs any excess product and it just gives a really nice flawless finish. And now to finish, finish off the eyes, I'm going in with these lashes from Model Rock. They're just really nice ones that um, flare out at the end. So I'm just using tweezers and the Ardell Lash Glue to stick those on. So now that the lashes are on, I'm going to conceal under the eyes and I'm going in with the same Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 and I'm going to highlight under her, highlight and conceal under her eyes. And I'm also going to go down the bridge of her nose, Cupid's bow, chin and forehead. And to blend it out, I'm just using this little Dirty 30 sponge which makes it really easy to get under the eyes.
So once we've concealed, we're going to go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to place some under our eyes to bake and then we'll set the rest of the face with a foundation powder. So next, to set the rest of the face, we're going to go in with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC30. This is a really nice foundation powder. It gives a really good finish. It's got no flashback and it's good for adding a little bit of extra coverage as well. And next, we're going to go in with the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. This is my favourite matte bronzer. It's super warm and bronzy and it just brings any look together. And I'm just going to be applying this bronzer to her cheeks, forehead, jawline, um, a bit on the tip of the nose, under the lip, and just anywhere where we want it to look really warm and bronzed. So after we've applied the bronzer, I'm going to go in with MAC Warm Soul, which is just a really nice peachy blush. It's also got a little bit of a sheen to it, which is good because we used a matte bronzer, so it'll just add some glow to the face and we're putting this on the apples of her cheeks and also blending it back to blend in with the bronzer and after this we're going to go in with contour so I'm mixing or not mixing they're the same shade which is the Inglot 507 sculpting powder and I'm just putting this um, directly underneath the bronzer on her cheekbones and you don't want to bring this too far down or else it's not going to achieve um, the effect of like nice chiseled cheeks so yeah, I'm putting that under her cheekbones, also around her forehead, under the jaw, under the lip, and also run it down the sides of her nose. And with bron uh, contour, generally it's meant to be a cool tone shade, but I prefer the look of a more warmer tone as it, I feel like it just bl blends in with the bronzer better and it still gives that contoured effect. And to clean it up, I'm going with the Laura Mercier translucent powder again, just with my sponge, um, just to make it look nice and neat. After that, I'm taking the Sugar Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm taking the gold shade from there and placing that on her cheekbones. This highlighter, I don't usually reach for it as it is quite glittery, but if you want that really intense highlighter look, then it's perfect for that. And I'm just applying this to the top of her cheekbones, down the center of her nose, in between her eyebrows, Cupid's bow, and a tiny little bit on her chin as well. Next, I'm just going to go back in with the blush brush we used before just to make sure the highlighter, blush, bronzer and everything is nice and blended together. And now I'm taking the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 4 and I'm using this just to set her brows in place. And after that, I'm going to take this Real Techniques powder brush just to um, brush off all that bake underneath her cheeks and with bake you don't need to leave it on too long because you don't want to leave a white cast. Next I'm going in with this really small blending brush and I'm just taking the shades that we put through the crease and running those under her eye and I like to keep the bake on under her eyes just for this step because there can be fallout as well so I'm running the shades in the same order so from lightest to darkest. And now I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Pencil in dark brown to line her waterline. This will just make the look a bit more dramatic and add a nice smoky effect. And next I'm going to be highlighting her inner corner. This is the Inglot Sparkling Dust in 02. I use this on pretty much all my clients for that really bright sparkly inner corner highlight. The lash glue is dry and I'm just taking the same eyeliner brush with a bit more product just to cover the lash band and any of the glue. And next for mascara I'm going to be taking this Maybelline Big Shot mascara and a disposable mascara wand and just putting it on her top and bottom lashes. So now that the eyes are all done, we're going to be brushing off the rest of that bake just with a little brush. And I just, I don't put any extra product, I just brush off what's there. Now that the base and eyes are done, it's time for lips. So I'm taking this MAC lip liner in the shade Oak and I'm just putting that on her top and bottom lips. And 
And now to fill in her lips, I'm taking this MAC lip palette. I think it's just called a nude, nude lip palette or something like that. And I'm mixing the shade Yash and... Actually, I think I'm just taking the shade Yash and I'm just filling in her top and bottom lip with a lip brush. Once the lipstick's on, I'm going in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Undressed. This is my favourite nude gloss. for It's perfect for glossy lips because it's not sticky and it's a really nice nude shade. So now that everything is done, we're going in with the Scandinavia Setting Spray. This is the oil control one and this one is my favourite setting spray. It literally makes your makeup last all day and all night. And I know everyone loves the Urban Decay All Nighter and they're actually made by the same company. This is the finished look. It's perfect for any event. It's nice and dramatic and it'll go with any outfit as well. So if you guys like this video, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll have more out for you soon. Bye!